You don't get to be the country's most sought-after Airbnb without plenty of feedback. But you might think twice before leaving a bad review because this angry owner is ready to return serve. The Serenity doesn't get any better than this. Australia's number one voted holiday accommodation nestled in these picturesque rolling hills. But some guests who've stayed here claim it's anything but tranquil because of its very angry owner. You will burn in hell. I know you think I'm joking. F you. Are you Australia's worst Airbnb host? <laughs> Sam, I just don't think What's funny about that, me. David? I'm not smiling at all, Sam. Business owners should in no way be going after their customers for the type of review they leave. Now, by all means, business owners should respond. You should say thank you for your feedback. We're taking that on board. We're looking into this issue. Thank you for bringing it to our attention. Did you tell one woman to burn in hell? Sam, look, I'm going to ask my Swiss friend. Who says that, David? I'm sorry, look, I've actually got to be somewhere. There's a problem. There's a reason they're leaving these reviews the way that they are. Clifftop at Hepburn's located in Hepburn Springs, and we want them to have a good time, and that's a comment we often get. But when they don't, David Penman isn't happy. It's David from Clifftop. You have greatly misjudged me. You obviously didn't do your research about the defamation case on Google. That's David leaving a vicious voicemail on a guest's phone. It was first revealed by The Age newspaper after the guest posted a two-star online review of her stay. Just OK. If you think you're going to get away with defaming us like this, you have another serious thing coming. Don't bother removing the review. Don't bother offering to settle. I'll see you in f***ing court. You better have a lot of money. David admitted in court to sending her threatening emails and text messages. After telling us he'd answered questions, David went quiet. David, Sam from A Current Affair. So we wanted to ask why. Do you abuse all the guests that state your Airbnb being David? Oh, Sam, it's really not appropriate for me to comment at the moment, but I'm very grateful that you took the time to come out. David's awfully polite today, even inviting us in for a drink and to use the bathroom. Is this the new David or is it just a show for the cameras? Usually, David loves any media attention he can get. Not this time. I'm very grateful that you've taken an interest in the story. And if uh, you won't you comment, why do you comment to the people that write reviews? You write back and you've got quite a sharp tongue online, yet you're, you're not saying anything today, David. I, I don't think it's appropriate for me to, Sam. My solicitor's asked me not to. A current affair has seen rambling email exchanges from David. One occasion, he copies in his lawyer and tells him to... Sue them penniless. He called one guest a... Slow learner. Do you threaten to sue anyone who speaks out against you, David? It's the second time David's been to court over his antics after he admitted to harassing another prospective guest who left this one-star review when his booking was cancelled. David wasn't happy. Tomorrow, 25,000 people in Melbourne are going to know what a scumbag you are. David even contacted his employer to try to have him fired. Why do you have to take things so far, David? Case in point, these emails allegedly sent to a car dealership. Your parents would have been utterly ashamed of the person you have become. I can only hope they aren't alive to see it in person. I'm launching a PR offensive tomorrow, making sure you f are rewarded with the PR you deserve. Owners, I think, you know, small businesses, we take every comment so to heart and every comment is so precious. But there is a line and people are allowed to have opinions. You don't tell them to burn in hell. Meg Coffey is a digital strategist. She specialises in helping businesses grow their social media presence. And in this case, we've got, we've got a hotel that's won all kinds of awards. We've got a property that's just, that's doing really well. It's so inappropriate what they're doing and they're completely destroying their brand and their image. We often say that you can't have one thing online and another thing in real life. With more businesses willing to take action against negative reviews, Meg says it's important customers aren't misleading. So you want to be really careful and make sure that you're only saying things that are true and factual. Now that said, if it didn't live up to your expectations, by all means, 
in a nice, polite, considerate way, you can totally leave a review and explain that. I appreciate your interest, but right now I'm just worried about getting to work so I can do the job. So thank you for coming out.